We all know that recurring tasks are tasks that happen over and over again with regular reminds. So the challenge I undertook was to completely automate recurring tasks inside of Notion without manual intervention at every step of the way. I plugged in the solution with a ton of bells and whistles right into GTD version 2 for your benefit. Why? So that I could combine the power of the GTD workflow right into recurring tasks. There is a link in the description with further details. Rather than jump in and start designing a system inside of Notion, I asked myself the question, what big issue was I facing without having recurring tasks? Most mistakes happen when there is human intervention. We forget, we get busy, or we don't catch up. To start with, it needs to have a start date and an interval of repetition. You set all of this inside of the organized section inside of GTD workflow. You can make the changes inside of do later after it's moved away from organized. Or you can always go back to the engine room. As I dug deeper into the interval of repetition or the frequency as I call it, I figured I needed several options. My day repeats what to remind me of things to do like my morning routine, my afternoon routine, and my evening routine. I set up some time for learning a new skill every Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday evenings. I had weekly and fortnightly calls and reviews I had to work on. I had to make monthly and bi-monthly bill payments. I did quarterly self-assessment sessions with myself. I also have half-yearly insurance payments and not to forget annual birthdays and anniversaries to be reminded of. Then of course, I had ad hoc reminders I needed to set myself every now and then. For example, a friend of mine asked me whether it's possible to catch up on a Thursday every three weeks. Boss, you wanted me to remind you about your recurring meetings every second Saturday of the month with Catherine. How do I do that in Notion? Could you ask Jarvis? I have just revamped the recurring task system to include just that. All you need to do is to provide a start date. Set the frequency to NDOW. Set the week number to second and the date to Saturday. Now you will have the date pop up every month in your calendar with your custom text catch up with Catherine. If the appointment is moved to another day of the month, then you just reset it for future days. All of these involve the format date formula. And as you might be aware, this converts any date to text. So within GTD, I designed a system where that text would be converted back into a date and can go right into the calendar. Thanks boss. The other thing I wanted to ask is how are you dealing with the time zone issue that certain formulae create inside of Notion? To lock in the time zone, I ask for that input when you're setting up the system right in the beginning. One of the issues of just trying to configure recurring tasks as a simple date add feature was that when the date actually arrived, it would move at the nick of the moment to another date. It happens because Notion recognizes not only the date of the event, but the time itself. But I wanted the task to stick around on the due date and not move. I also wanted it to be sensitive to the start date or a future date that I set. Again, there are events like a meeting or a bill payment where I wanted to be reminded of it a few days before. The date reminder allows me to do just that. This property is entirely optional and I wanted the date to revert back to the due date after that reminder date has elapsed. For fulfillment, I added a field called the last due date. This last due date represents the day on which you last perform that activity. So if the frequency for fulfilling the task has been exceeded, the alert column will flash red and show it's overdue. If you're current, it'll stay green. In addition, the alert column also shows items paused and expired, and that's pretty useful to quickly visualize. I've also added a bill payment list in the primary view with the current week number and the week number in which the payment falls due. 
You can also see the alerts, including the paused and the expired bills. The reason I set up the expiry date is so that you can see it if you're paying a loan installment or when you're locked in to a project for a specific period and you would like the task to stop calculating future dates. This works on all recurring tasks. I've created two lists. One is a list of all the expired items and the ones that would expire in the next week. And the other is for a full list, including the ones that would expire in the future. The filters for each one of these settings is customizable. So you can change these to the ones that suit you best. Because I could set up so many parameters inside of repeating tasks, I could just duplicate the task and create an identical one and set out to modify just a few parameters rather than start up from scratch. One of my biggest asks was to connect a non-recurring task to a recurring task. For example, the recurring task could be an insurance payment. But I'd also want to keep a track of specific insurance payments. And I want to see each installment that was getting paid. That's a pretty easy one since I could insert an inline table into the recurring task and maintain that schedule of payment. So I had the best of both worlds and did not need to go back three years into my diary to check on the actual dates of the payments. Then for example, if you're on vacation, you don't want to keep getting disturbed on each meeting that you need to attend. And once the vacation was over, I really wanted to be on top of those meetings. For that function, I created the pause button. So it would automatically take it off your schedule and at the end of your vacation, you could just bring them back in. When you deal with projects, you deal with three different types of tasks. Non-recurring tasks that are normal tasks that are carried out once. You have tasks with a specific date, like an important client leadership meeting or a non-negotiable deadline. These dates are difficult to reshuffle. Then you have recurring tasks like weekly team catch-up, monthly management meetings, which can be embedded right into your project management framework within GTD. All you need to do here is to link up that recurring task to the project by doing a relation. Now you would have seen how tasks can be linked into projects in my earlier video. You can see which video I am referring to above. To go along with the recurring tasks feature, I've added a detailed getting started guide that explains this in much, much more detail. And it also has a ton of other functionality of the GTD system. The new version of GTD is available to be picked up. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like this video, do consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.